What's happening, people? Today we are here with a Wi-Fi battle. Now, I haven't done one of these, and I don't even remember. But uh, Ultra Sun and Moon is still a fun game. Um, I actually have not even played the entire game. This is honestly the first Pokemon game I haven't really been active. But uh, here we are now with a Wi-Fi battle. If you don't remember my previous battles, I did uh, use this team before. And we're up against uh, Mathurgy. Math? I used to call this guy Math Energy, I don't know why, but Mathergy. I guess I wasn't reading his name correctly, but anyways. Uh, we're using Megalodino. He's using a standard OE team with a Megalopony. Um, I'm not too intimidated, because this is, um, this is just a modern day core. As long, as long as your team is up to date, you can take on a team like this. And Really, my team is standard, just with the Mega Aldino. So basically, I just replaced my uh, Dragonite and Mega Aldino uh, with uh, different Pokemon. Because Aldino is supposed to be Cafable, and Dragonite is supposed to be your Mega. So I replaced it, those two for these Pokemon. And that's all, honestly, what you have to do with most teams that uh, you want to fit into the meta game. Just think of the po uh, of a team that you want to build that's standard. And then replace those couple of Pokemon that you uh, don't want with some unique things. And that's why I chose Dragonite and Omega Aldino. Because, uh, you know, Dragonite's being slept on. Omega Aldino is actually more bulkier than Confable. It doesn't have the same abilities that make it great as Confable, but uh, it's still pretty good. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, we are going to start this battle. Matter of energy here. Uh, Tends to give me some intense battles. It, I'm not sure if I had previous battles with him on the channel, but he gives me some pretty intense ones, so uh, let's get started. He's gonna lead off the Heat Ran, as I am going to lead off with my Rotom. Great lead, because I knew he would probably lead off with this thing, or the Lander, so I got this in the bag. He wants to set up Stealth Rocks and die, that's great, but. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to die, because he has the effing Bloom Doom. Heat ran. Now I have been running into so many Z move heat rans and losing games because of it. Because I I just don't know what to suspect. I'm seeing Z move flash scan that can destroy my Lyos in one hit. Uh, Court screw uh, Z move shit. And then I'm seeing Bloom Doom now, which is not even that really meta game because what water types are gonna be hitting with that? What OU Pokemon are in the meta game right now? Uh, Greninja? That's a rare scenario. Who switches into a Greninja to a Heat Ram? That's a powerful Pokemon. Um, regardless of knowing that it has Bloom Doom or not. Secondly, who? Like, I don't know. Just think, I don't, I'm thinking of the water types off the top of my head. I know there's more. It's just that in Rome, it isn't that uh, rare in OU. It's just that why? Why would we run Bloom Doom? I know it's coverage move against water types, but it just. It just. It's, it's, it's such a rare scenario to be in that situation. You're mostly gonna see a Landorus against you, a Fine type. Uh, Heat Ren has so many weaknesses, so why would you cover water of all things? It just doesn't make sense. Why would you not have a Z move for your stab? But, anyways. He is going to, um. I'm gonna switch into Heat Ren and go for the Earth Power, because I did not care. <laughs> As he switches into the lander, subs and stuff rocks. I'm gonna switch into my own Verathorn against his landers because I can tell that is defensive because he does have stealth rocks on it. So I'm gonna set up my own stealth rocks as he switches to the, his own he ran. Now I'm gonna do a switch into my Laios, uh, knowing full well he doesn't have anything to hit me with. But he has Solar Beam and most likely um, a bunch of other moves that you would typically see on he ran Earth Power, Fire Move, Steel Type Move. Maybe he doesn't have a steel type move, maybe he has Taunt, Toxic, or some status move. Uh, anyways, right now I am going to go straight for the trick, because I knew for a fact he was going to go straight into this Magirna, which is absolutely perfect. Because uh, this just allows me to um, screw this thing over, because I can't really wall none of my Pokemon now. Like, uh, Actually, I wouldn't say that, because I don't have my Roam alive anymore, and really I just... I don't have many special attackers on my team that would give a damn. I mean, replacing my Choice Scarf um, would have been great on something like maybe the Ninja, getting rid of its Choice Specs. Uh, it already outspeeds everything on my team, so... Um, that's all I can think of, honestly. <laughs> but anyways, 
Uh, I'm gonna go for the tricks, crippling that Magirna. And I'm gonna do a switch to my Hiran as he is gonna double switch into his own Greninja. That was a great play. He was predicting. He went for the hidden power fire against my um. Against my Lydos as I went for the psychic right there. Uh, predicting my Ferris to come in, but now I'm gonna switch to my own uh, Heat Ran as he switches to his Greninja. He's probably predicting me to go into my uh, Heat Ran at that moment. I'm guessing. Or he's predicting me to go for more psychic. So he's switching to his Green Ninja. I switch to my Heat Ran. I switch out my Heat Ran and switch into my Ferrothorn to take his um, Dark Pulses because this is a specially defensive Ferrothorn, mostly. It is no, it is specially defensive. Yes, for this exact purpose <laughs> because I'm gonna set my spikes. Um, and that's going to be um, amazing in this game to uh, cripple him almost entirely because he can't switch in and out like this team normally does. That's what a real competitive deck... Uh, competitive deck? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! No, uh, that's what a competitive team actually does. It switches in and out a lot and has a lot of synergy. So I know for a fact he's going to be switching in and out a lot in this game, so Sam Spikes is spectacular. Uh, he does have a lot of resistances to stuff rocks too, so winning this game is just going to take a while if I'm going to play the switching out, in and out game. So I'm going to switch to my Omega OD on that after my, uh, after my Ferrothorn gets almost completely weakened by that Choice Specs Gear Ninja. I know for a fact I can take two Dark Pulses with my Mega Aldino. I mean, I can take a Dark Pulse with my Mega Aldino in its normal form against his Green Ninja, as long as it doesn't get a crit, because I do have special defense investment on this Mega Aldino. Now I'm going to Mega Evolve, he cannot kill me with a Dark Pulse on the next hit, so he's going to switch into his uh, Ran. as I am going to Wish Pass, I mean Wish, into uh, my OD myself to get my health back. Now I have to think twice about using Dark Pulse on his Greninja. Now what I'm going to do is uh, switch into my Lyos, as he is, he's going to go for the Taunt. He went for that Taunt, thinking I would Wish again, and not really. And not only that though, I can't really touch his Ran at all. Uh, with my Mega Odino, so stats. going for a time was a good move. Uh, he is now going to do is go for the uh, Magma Storm, risking the biscuit and trying to hit that because Magma Storm has a low accuracy. I don't know why he would do that against my Lightest when he has the Magirna. Uh, if he has Volt Switch on his Magirna, this is honestly his. I don't know why he didn't go for it. That's actually what I was expecting off of his Magirna. I was expecting it to have Volt Switch, which is why I stayed in with my Lightest to psychic it because I didn't want him to get switched initiative. Because I don't think I have a ground type. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go for the Psychic now against the Hero, just to weaken it. Um, and put a range where he can just die layer on. To uh, Spikes and Stealth Rocks. Because I, that, I, know, I know that thing is going to keep switching in and out to me. Because I do have a Mega Um But right here, he is going to switch into his Elias for some reason. And allow it to potentially die, because it isn't Choice Scarf at all. And I am going to kill it. I don't know why he would uh, risk that speed tie like that um, if he wasn't Choice Scarf at all. I just really don't don't know. I can't really say what what's going on there. But he is gonna lose his Lyos. But then that thing could have done some real damage to me. Not really, because I do have my go. You know. Um. But it could have done something. It could defog the spikes and stealth rocks. But uh, because this is going to hinder him a lot, because as you can see, he already lost that much HP just switching in <laughs> and into my um, my Iron Barb's damage to my Ferrothorn. So right here, uh, he knows that this is not a good idea because actually, truth is, I have extreme speed on my Dragonite, and if I hit that thing, if he takes another hit, he's going to be in range of a plus one extreme speed guaranteed. So he is going to switch out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take advantage of that by sending up other layer spikes, and that's that's almost game. That's practically game. If he doesn't get rid of those two layers of spikes, he's screwed. So all, it all comes down to it comes down to if he has the fog on his landers. If he doesn't, this battle is almost game because I'll just play the switching out in uh, switching in and out game with him, and ultimately I will win. He'll just kill. He'll just be killing himself, honestly. Um, so he is going to switch into his Magir now, after I switch into my Hiram, and uh, he, I'm guessing he would, he wanted to go for him Power Fire and kill my Ferrothorn. That was a good move, um, but unfortunately if he had gone for that, my <laughs> Hiram was just going to uh, dominate and destroy, I mean, blow something up with a Fire-type attack. 
Uh, because he doesn't have many fire resistances other than he ran itself, but had I predicted that, I would have just gone for the Earth Power. Uh, maybe he would, I don't know. That, that would have been a mind game, because it does have, he does have the Landers. Uh, but I am going to switch into my heat right now, I guess, uh, my gear now. And go for the spam toxic because I know for a fact he's going to switch into this heat ramp, uh, Landers. I know for a fact, it's, it's his safest move. I knew it, and, but unfortunately. I'm going to miss the Tossic. That was my whole game plan. I switched into my hero against them again, hoping the guy he was switching to is Landers. So that way I could just Tossic it. But unfortunately, he didn't do it. And now what I'm going to do is, uh. Uh, I. No, he did do it, but, uh, unfortunately, I missed. So I, now what I'm going to do is switch it to my Mega Dino to take the hits. Uh, this defensive Landers cannot touch my Omega uh, Dino. I'm mostly physically oriented. Orientated. Oriented, orientated, whatever. <laughs> so I'm gonna take these earth uh, stone edges, earthquakes. Because he revealed stone edge to me, this makes the thing difficult. I don't know why he has these weird coverage moves on his Pokemon. Solar beam, bloom doom on the heat ran. I I get it, and I don't care if it's even standard. I don't care if it's all you think. That that's just a rare scenario. So I just don't see it happening all the time. We we need that. You can bring in like a Z-Boom on some, something way better on your team. I mean, you can be running a better Z-Boom for better scenarios. Um, but whatever. I, uh, I think he's just out. Oh, oh, fuck it. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, just wish, protect, wish and protect, and continue to think about what strategy I'm going to make against this Landers. Because missing that toxic with my goal plan on crippling him. But uh, right here, he, he is going to make another weird play. Just like he did with the Lagos. He's going to switch into his Reninja against my Mega the Athena. Uh, I'm guessing he thought I was going to Wish Pass into something. So that way he would have just been able to switch into his Greninja and kill it. I'm not sure what. But uh, right now I am going. Actually, you know what? I could. No, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking about Wish Passing to my uh, Ferrothorn, but no, never mind. Uh, he was just going to keep spamming Earthquakes at that point. But anyways, I'm gonna kill the Greninja for that weird reason. Now what he's gonna do is switch in and out of stuff for some reason. I, I don't know what he's really doing. Switching into the C-Run is not a good play. I have many sacks for this thing. I am gonna sack my Ferrothorn now because it doesn't do anything much anymore. Uh, sure, I could preserve it against the low play, but I doubt he's gonna make that play again because he he already lost the game when I set up that second layer of spikes right there. Because uh, that just... Okay, I didn't... I didn't win automatically, it's just that my chances of winning are a lot greater now. Or at least he's going to be in a position where he just can't come out of it. Because he needs to be switching in and out of stuff. But unfortunately, my team has switched in for almost his stuff, so he needs to switch in and out in order to uh, make a play here. Um, but yeah, Stone Edge, he has Stone Edge on his Landorus. I was thinking about wish passing into my uh, Dragonite against that Landorus to kill it. Uh, but he has Stone Edge, so I'm just going to think about using my Mega Odino to kill that Landers. That was my game plan against the Landers when I was wishing against it. But uh, he's going to switch in and out of stuff. I'm going to switch to my Ferrothorn Sacket, switch it to my Lyos, trying to weaken and kill that um, that he ran. And I'm going to kill it with the Draco Mirror. And now I'm what I'm going to do is switch it to my Mega Odino against this low punny. Uh, at this range of HP, there's nothing he can do. If he has high jump kick, uh, so be it. He won't do much damage to me. I am trying to get this thing uh, slipping. I do want to. Uh, I do want to um, try and uh, kill it with his own high jump kick. That way, I won't have to even touch it to knock it out. <laughs> but uh, right here, I am gonna go for the double protect. I believe, <laughs> but unfortunately, he doesn't go for a high jump kick. I'm not sure what he's doing. Actually, no, no. Uh, at this point in the game, there's not much he can do. So he is just going to try and uh, freeze me, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. Um, even if he does, it doesn't matter. I may switch, because of this low plane's range of HP, it cannot switch out. And it, even if it does, uh, it still doesn't honestly matter. I don't even need my low, my Mega Odino too much anymore, because his Greninja is dead. His, uh, I'm not worried about that Landers too much. Actually, I am worried about it. Um, I, I forgot, what's my last Pokemon? I have Heat Ram, Megalodino, Dragonite. I lost Lyos, I lost Ferrothorn. 
No, I lost Ferrothorn, I lost Rotom. I still have Latios. Okay, so that's... I guess that's my goal plan. To use the Latios to kill that thing. Uh, because at this range of HP this Megumin is in, and without its Assault Vest, it, it's going to be screwed. It's going to uh, die against my Latios and two Psychics. So, uh, even at that range of HP, that was just in. So... I, I believe so. Based on this first Psychic, I went against it. Um, that, that Psychic, I went against that when I stayed in against that Megumin on the very first turns of this game. Uh, I did that for more reasons than, ju than just one. I was predicting his Volt Switch, and I also wanted to gauge how much the Volt my Psychic would do against the Megumin without its Assault Vest. So that way, I knew I would know how to uh, kill that thing more appropriately. But uh, anyways. Uh, now I'm gonna do... Jeez, I need to keep it up. <laughs> I'm trying to explain my plays while that's going on. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go for the Toxic now against this uh, Landorus Ice. Obviously, Wished... I mean, I, uh... I have my Mega Aldino to take out that low bunny. He switched into from the gear now. I switch out my Aldino. I switch into my Heat Ran. My Heat Ran takes the hit. I go for Toxic. And, uh... I go for the, yeah, I go for the toss again. I, I had to do it because honestly, this guarantees it. Because now that Landers is poison, my uh, my boat can kill it now. I, uh, I don't have the risk of Draco Meteor against that Landers to kill it. I can just go for the Psychic. It'll die the poison damage. My Dragonite can finish it off. It'll be game. So now this is just I'm not sure what else I'm doing. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm trying to wish pass into my um. I'm trying to wish pass into my, uh, Dragonite now? I'm not sure why. I don't fully need to. Actually, well, that's my way of winning, because I can't really kill this Megumin on my, my Megumin. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't kill this Megumin on my Meg with my Mega Odeon alone, because that Flash Cannon did so much damage, as you just saw. So I'm going to do here is wish pass into my Dragonite. Um... And that's also the reason why I was wish passing with my Megalodino against this. Actually, no, no, never mind. It's short scar. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. So yeah, um. I am gonna wish pass into my Dragonite against this thing. Now I have the potential chance of taking another hit while also saying about Dragon Dance. He is locked into Flash Ken. He cannot uh, change up moves. So what I'm gonna do now is just go straight for the Dragon Dance, take another hit. Uh, the Landorus cannot take me on. If he switches into it, it's going to take stealth Spark damage and poison, lowering his chances of taking a hit. So there's no point in switching out. So he is going to, uh, you know, lose his uh, Vagirna. There is no point in switching in after his Vagirna into his Landorus over and over again because of stealth rocks and poison damage. So there was no, there was no intimidating. There's nothing. He cannot do that. So what I'm gonna do now is finish this bitch off with the supersonic sky strike. I almost forgot this move. I haven't played Pokemon in a little while. My my apologies. Anyways, I'm gonna kill this thing. This is why you don't f around with Dra Mega Dragonite. I mean Dragonite. Damn, I wish Mega Dragonite. Boom, bitch. <laughs> Goodbye. So we uh, started off with the Z move. We're gonna end it with the Z move. Goodbye, Landers, bitch. And so that's the game. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been pretty fun. Uh, you know, Wi-Fi battles and all that. This is a pretty long battle. This is actually this game was actually um 46 turns, which was crazy. That's almost 50 turns. Are you serious? Anyway, so, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I wish I can probably come out with some more Ultra Sun and Moon uh, gameplay for you guys. I mean, well, not really gameplay gameplay because this game is old, um, like a year old, two years old. So I'm just gonna try and uh, get some Wi-Fi battles out. I can't really do it. I do have Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and let's go eat. I can't play the games. Not because I don't have a capture card with the Switch. It, I can get that. It's just that um, I actually I don't even need a capture card. I, I have the uh, the Nintendo Switch can hook up to my piece to my um, to my TV, and I have an Elgato capture card. So I, basically, I already have a capture card. Um, and record videos with my uh, Nintendo Switch. The problem is, though, is that I hope on Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee is not competitive. It's, it's just a casual game. It's not built for Wi-Fi battles. I mean, it is built for Wi-Fi battles, but not... 
It's not competitive. If you know what I mean. Like, anyone knows this. It's not a competitive game. It's not... It's just not that game. <laughs> it's not a regular... Uh, mainstream Pokemon game. People, they say it was, but it isn't. So, this game is honestly just a spin-off. I'm not going to record uh, Wi-Fi battles with it. Or maybe I will. Mm? I can do it. Uh, I just don't know if I want to. I can make videos of it, sure, and get some Wi-Fi battles, but like I said, the game is practically silly. It's just, it's just a casual game. I, I do enjoy it. I did enjoy it. It's nostalgic, but uh, no, I'm not doing it. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll be back. Until then, peace.